the day of the explosion uh, was the first day uh, you know we opened after lockdown we had full reservation at the capacity that the government instructed to and uh, we're like getting a lot of phone calls so people come want to come we're just chilling and uh, I heard like really strong sound and I was joking with my partner like yo what does this sound like and then I heard an extremely loud bomb and then I turned around in slow motion I remember there was like a a huge storm or tornado of like broken glasses and in orange air come to me and then I turn around I had uh, this window there I just the uh, blast just blow me inside but thank God none of our customer get hurt and none of our staff get hurt so we we're really really lucky for me it's really hard to believe because I was born in China and I, I never experienced something on this scale like I it's kind of unimaginable like in terms of the damage, the destruction, I've never seen something like this. And I'm still trying to uh, cope with what's going on. I mean, my conclusion is like, life is difficult in general and more difficult in Lebanon. But you know, that's what makes Lebanese people really strong. I mean, you see them going the next day, going to the streets, you know, with like uh, shovels, with like, uh, I don't know, so, the, the brooms, and they just go. And I'm really, really in shock if anyone, if I was moving something outside, they like, you need help. And a team of people just appear from nowhere and they say, what do you want to do? I will help you. At the moment, I just hope the building don't fall. I mean, as you can see, it, uh, it's kind of falling. But as long as it doesn't fall, uh, we can always, you know, put back uh, the wall. Like, if the structure doesn't fall, we can always put back a wall. It's easy. But uh, the priority is really for us to rebuild our business because we want to support the family of our staff. We have, like, 14 staff, and they need to eat. Their parents need to, be, need to eat. You know, like, we put our dream into it. You make memories for people as, you know, we work in the hospitalities. And, and uh, I just, you know, you know, I, I, at this moment, you know, you just have to uh, stay positive and you can't cry anymore. You know, you just have to think of solutions. Yeah, I can't wait for the day we reopen and everyone come and uh, we celebrate that we made it and we're strong. You know, we will make it. So.